Welcome to Learning Chemistry with the Professors Dubois. This is Professor Corey, and today we're going to learn how to count significant figures. If you're watching this video, you're probably having trouble counting significant figures, and you're not alone. The rules are confusing, especially when it comes to the zeros. How is it that a zero may or may not be significant? With the method that I will demonstrate, you will not need to memorize a set of rules, but you will, you will need to know a little bit about geography. If we look at a map of the United States, you can see that the Pacific Ocean is on the west coast and the Atlantic Ocean is on the east coast. And you may be thinking, what does this have to do with numbers? And rightfully so, but hang with me. Instead of Pacific, let's write the letter P. And on the other side, let's represent the Atlantic with the letter A. Now I'm going to write decimal present where Pacific used to be and decimal absent on the Atlantic side, and we're ready to start counting. The first step will be to determine if there's a decimal present in the number. If there's a decimal present, we'll start counting the sig figs from the left, the Pacific side, toward the right. If there's no decimal present, we will start counting from the right, the Atlantic side, toward the left. Let's look at some numbers in practice. 1,023. Decimals absent, we'll start on the Atlantic side. 459. Decimal absent, start on the Atlantic side. 0 0.954. Decimal present, start on the Pacific side. 675. Decimal absent, start on the Atlantic side. Now that you know where to start and which direction to go, you have to memorize one simple rule. Start counting at the first non-zero number and then count all of the numbers. That's it. Let's practice. 1,023, decimal absent, start on the Atlantic, right side, go to the left. Since the first number is a non-zero, we will count it in all the rest for a total of four, four sig figs. 1,025,000, decimal absent, start on the Atlantic, right, go to the left. Since the first three are zero, we don't count until the five. Then we count all the rest. Four sig figs. 0 0.954. Decimal present. Start on the Pacific. Left side. Go to the right. Start at the first non-zero number and count all the rest for a total of three sig figs. 0 0.007006. Look at all those zeros. This is intimidating, but we're just going to stick to the plan. First, is there a decimal present? There is, so we start on the Pacific, left side, and count toward the right. Since the first three are zero, we don't count them. We'll start counting at the number seven and then count all of the digits. Six sig figs. What about scientific notation? For example, 6.022 times 10 to the 23. This may seem really difficult, but it's not. We're going to simplify by taking an approach of just looking at the number in front and ignoring the times 10 to, to the 23 in this case. So for this one, we're just going to look at the 6.022 and use the same rules. Is there a decimal, decimal present? Yes. Start on the Pacific, left, and count toward the right. The first number is not zero. So we will start counting there and count all the rest. Four sig figs. A little practice with this goes a long way. So here's a few practice um, numbers to get you started. 1,024,004. This has seven sig figs. 1,024,000. 4 sig figs, 2.3400600, 8 sig figs, 0 0.0023, 2 sig figs, and finally, 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th. Four sig figs. Thanks for joining us. 
Be sure to give us a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe if you'd like to see more topics on learning chemistry with the Professors Dubois.